What's going on? Barely past 7.30 on Monday morning and the Rex CD is busy. Yeah, Ma'am, I'm Dr. Haugen. Are you still feeling short of breath? A young woman arrives with her lungs full of fluid. Emergency physician Dr. Cheryl Haugen rushes to help. Can you get a tech in here? We need to get her on the monitor and get a gown and stuff. Deep breath for me. Meantime, patient after patient arrives being treated by other physicians and nurses. It's okay. It's a, come here, hold my hand. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to try to get the fluid off and help your breathing. Okay? The lungs will clear with treatment. With all this going on, the ED team stays ready for a STEMI or heart attack patient, and they're trained to act quickly. Which means time is heart muscle. Really vital to get to a hospital and try to restore blood flow to the heart as quickly as possible to try to preserve um, the function of the heart muscle. Okay, stats are 100%. In the early afternoon, a possible STEMI patient arrives in the Rex ED. The care of these patients oftentimes begins before they ever hit our door. It begins with Wake County EMS's well-trained paramedics. They get a 12-lead EKG. Through the use of technology, they can then relay that EKG to us here at Rex Hospital, and it gets reviewed by the emergency department. Here, we use a Nextel phone for uh, Bluetooth connectivity. And then we just have to hit the transmit button. It'll show them the different leads on a 12 lead. Just with a glance, we can really readily identify patients that are having an acute heart attack. And we call that a STEMI, or an ST elevation MI. Um, this is the baseline for the patient, and the ST segment is significantly elevated. And that is an indication to us that uh, that portion of this patient's heart is not receiving adequate blood flow. And when we see that, we act very quickly and identify that that patient's having a heart attack and mobilize uh, the proper players. The emergency department staff will actually be in one of our resuscitation rooms. The physician and the nurse is waiting to receive that patient as they arrive. Radiology will also already have been notified as well and they'll be standing by in the room with a portable chest x-ray. The patient uh, very rapidly gets the ED care that they need. They get on the monitor. Uh, we'll get another EKG if we feel it's indicated. They'll have IVs established and notify the cardiac catheterization uh, team for the lab. Uh, we can identify the cardiologist and we get the ICU nurses. On this day, the cardiologist meets the patient in the ED on the way to the cath lab. That patient gets transported very rapidly to the cath lab waiting for them and ready to uh, perform the definitive procedure of the cardiac catheterization to try to restore blood flow to the patient's heart. In the cath lab, the cardiologist and Rex cath team work quickly. The national benchmark to restore blood flow to the heart is 90 minutes. Our average uh, for restoring blood flow to the heart for patients that come to Rex Healthcare is less than 60 minutes. Uh, and we really feel that shaving off those minutes is actually vital. Which is one of the reasons Rex Hospital is the only hospital in Wake County that ranks above the national average for heart attack patient survival rates, according to the federal government. The team strives to be even faster. We really strive for that.